Hello everyone, and in the last video you saw me test the Kenneth Wells traction engine on the new Mamod fuel gel. Today I'm going to try a Walesco, and this is my Walesco D20. I'm going to give it a steam on the Mamod gel. So let's see how it goes. So first I've got to fill the boiler up. Make sure that drain's closed, which it is. And then I'm going to start filling the boiler up. That's the boiler filled. Now you can see there is a bit of lime scale in there, um, but I'm gonna. I've got some Kilrock K to clean that out. So that's gonna be the next job of this engine to clean the lime scale out. Now the problem with Walesco burners is they've got holes on the side, so the gel would leak out. So I've had to put some foil in to kind of make a little barrier to put the, the, the um, fuel in. But we'll see how it goes. That's the gel in. I'll pop it in the fire hole door and light it. Let's get it lit. Now, I'm not sure if that's lit or not. Yes, that is lit. In it goes. And let's get it lubricated. So first we've got to fill up the cylinder lubricator. That'll cut that all the piston and the valves. Now we need to lubricate all the bearings. So we've got the little end there, the valve, big end. Yep, and I'll pop it on the piston rod just there as well, and on the valve rod. So now we've just got to wait for the bottle to build pressure. Now, this engine actually hasn't been steamed since December when I, I took it to the Mammals and Mince Pies exhibition in Midridge. So, I just, and what I did after I ran it, I pumped some oil into the cylinder and I suspect the oil has got quite sticky in there, so it might take a while to start whilst it cleans the oil out, but that should be alright. some pressure let's see if we can warm up or start the engine okay, I've got some oil coming out of the drip train
Hmm. It's the percentage stop working. There we go. Make sure that fire's out. Well, I am very impressed with how this engine steamed. It did perform quite well. The pressure didn't go too high, but you can't get much of the fuel into the tray because of how it's designed, but I'm still very impressed.